what has been written, had we done oral submissions, highlights the state probably would have come in after you, but now you have the last opportunity. My earlier reading quite a bit on the sentencing makes it very clear that it's not just the tail end process, but it's a significant stage in the criminal justice system and in a criminal case trial. So I hope we all know that. So may I then just take note, court assistant, confirm the date. Much obliged to Before the end of Miss Oweo, who was requesting to address the court, she is known to the court and she is known in this matter. Sorry, she. Miss Oweo, who is going to address you, she is known to this court and she is not a stranger in this matter. Mm -hmm. It depends on whether she has locked her stand in known to the court and stranger, <coughs> and her eyes having been extinguished by natural and probable and consequences of events. I, spoke, I hope I'm not speaking too much jungle. This is not to the public, and neither is it to the accused person. She has locked her stand in. Uh, sure. She, no, she, I, she, I will hear her, for sure. I will hear from her. Where you left. I will hear her. Please proceed. Yes. I'm more than grateful for the land and city and Katwa. My lady, I would like to make us an application for the release of the security. My lady, I'm on party of October. Would you like to raise up your voice, counsel, because I can hardly hear your address to the court. If there is a speaker, please use it. Sure. My lady, if I may, I'm holding brief. I'm Ms. Wawero. I'm holding brief for my learned senior Katwa. My lady, we have an application for release of the security. My lady, on 30th of October 2018, the second accused was released on terms of a bond of 2 million with one surety of the similar amount. My lady, on 9th of February 2014, my senior made an application for the release of security. It was granted and we were granted 14 days. After 14 days, we were to write a letter to the deputy registrar to effect the same orders. However, my lady, we wrote a letter on 5th of March 2014 um, indicating to the DR that we, we would like the release of the security which was a title deed of John Gashie. My lady, however, we were appraised that the order for the release needed to be in writing. Hence, that's the main reason why we are before you. Have you given me the benefit of the correspondence you are speaking to? Yes, my lady, we had filed a letter. Court assistant, would you confirm whether those documents have reached the court or not? Because I'm a total stranger to your address to the court this morning. Tell, tell everyone loudly. You know, I don't want to live here with missiles that are not mine. I've received enough missiles, but this time I must also engage myself adequately to deal with them. Council. I am seized of this matter because before I was transferred to Naivasha High Court, I was dealing with this matter. You are aware that uh, the matter basically is domesticated in the criminal division of the High Court in Nairobi. I'm a visiting judge. If you write a letter to the Honorable DR, it will not come to the Honorable DR in Naivasha. It will go to the Honorable DR Nairobi High Court Criminal Division. I have not seen it. There is a presiding judge who I think will be able to deal with that. But all said and done, what you're asking me to do is extremely administrative. And I would have expected to be done, even if this file was taken to my brother, Honorable Kimondo, 
he would have made an order because it has nothing to do with a decision in the main substance of the matter. But that said and done, I'm not running away. I'll speak to my brother, as you can hear from the court assistants. Those documents have not reached me. If they did, of course, and I had time, I would have done that. I pick it up with my brother, Justice Kimondo. We will address it. It's not a matter that should bother you. An order will be made. And unless there's good reason why the security should not be released, it should be released. OK, does that help? Yes, it does. Much obliged, my lady. Okay. And I didn't have to record that, neither have I recorded it. But it will be done. Much okay. Obliged. So, court assistant, make sure when I adjourn, those documents are brought to my knowledge, and I'll just make the necessary order for release of the experts. Okay. All right. So, allow me then to just confirm that this matter has been rescheduled to the 13th day of March, 2024. Let's agree on time. Is 11.30 okay in the morning? Yes, it is fine with us. The other councils? It's fine with us. Okay. So, as much as I started by doing a, a disclaimer, on how today I'm not the one who is being accused of adjourning this matter. I think at the end of the day, I'm the driver of the vehicle, being the one presiding over this court. And I think the most decent thing to do is to apologize for any inconvenience that may be caused by the delay in this matter. And uh, hope that uh, we'll not have to adjourn it again, that we'll be able to deal with it to finality on the date that I have fixed for judgment on sentence. And with that, unless there is any other issue, I'll be requesting that you allow all of us to adjourn the court, and I wish you a good day. Court Assistant. Thank you.